Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. Wow. Seems like the days are flying by every day. Wow. Where this year gone? You know, <laughs> less than three months is going to be a new year. What the heck? Yep. Kind of cool out here this morning. It's in the low 50s. Low 52, I think. 51. Yeah, it's kind of cool out here. It feels good out here, actually. I'd rather feel this than hot, humid, sticky weather. Scattered thunderstorms today. Later on today. Then it's supposed to be like a chance of rain every week for a week straight. It's weird how the weather would change, though. Wasn't supposed to rain today. Now it's going to rain. But then it's got rain definitely Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next week. Every day, chance of rain. And there might be a couple days there or two or three days where it will rain all day long. You know, it's kind of crazy. So, I figure I'd get on here and see what everybody's up to today. Or this morning, as I say, people are probably still sleeping. And my kids got up at 6 o'clock this morning. They don't even have school. And during the week when they got school, they won't get up at all. But during the weekend, they'll definitely get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 a.m. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yep. I'm out here with the dogs. See? Look. Charlie. Charlie. Uh -huh. Charlie. It's a female. I don't know why they named it Charlie. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go in there and get me something to eat and get me a banana, eat me some oatmeal or whatever's in there. <laughs> yeah, this morning. So. I figure I'd get on here and see what everybody's up to today. See how everybody's doing. Do a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button for me. Oh, 392 subscribers now. Awesome. Appreciate it very much. You guys are awesome. Great. Yeah. I hope we don't get a whole lot of snow this winter. I'll tell you that right now. Because <laughs> I remember last year we had a lot of freezing rain. Went not snow. They kept on calling for snow and it was freezing rain i know one time they were forecasting anywhere from 14 to 17 inches of, of snow and then it, it ended up being 14 hours of non-stop freezing rain you wouldn't catch me out there driving that ice <laughs> i don't care if you got four wheel drive or 18 wheel drive 12 wheel drive can't stop on ice rubber and ice <laughs> the guy said on the news because i thought my four-wheel drive would do better on ice than that <laughs> i'm like really dude <laughs> rubber and ice you can't comprehend that <laughs> god figure my i figure my four-wheel drive would do a lot better than that on ice okay <laughs> rubber and ice people can't comprehend that actually four-wheel drive is worse than ice because you got four wheels gripping the ice yeah <laughs> that's crazy isn't it <laughs> Yeah, people amaze me. I'm going to get a t-shirt made up that says, People amaze me on there. <laughs> you, know, you got them people thinking out there, when you get the vaccine, you'll you'll never get COVID. That stops you from getting COVID, period. That is false. <laughs> There's people in the hospital right now with COVID and been vaccinated because of different variants. The variants are the dominance, the dominance of the coronavirus. Yeah, but now they're coming out with a pill. I've seen it on news, Merrick, Merrick, that's coming out some kind of antiviral pill. It's 50 supposed to work 50%, it's not 100%. People think these pills are 100%, they got, they got to do the research. 50%, that is it, not 100%, it doesn't stop it completely, but 50%. And they're trying to get emergency authorization from FDA real soon, like very quickly, they say, so we'll see. It'll be a pill, like a five-day course, they said, or something. That's what they said in the news, so we'll see. We'll see. They're getting there. After the damage is already done, now they're stepping up and doing stuff. A lot of people think, oh, it's all fake, all fake. No, it ain't. It's not fake. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Like I said, I had the antibody fusion done. On the 20th or 21st, can't remember. It was on a Monday. 
and uh, I went to the hospital Saturday and they test me, the test came back positive for COVID because my kids brought it home from school. It's kind of weird and they got four different, I got four different kids, two in college, two separate colleges, one in elementary and one down the middle school. They all got COVID within, within a week or two, I think. Yeah, within a couple weeks, they all got COVID from school. And they all tested positive separately, you know what I mean? It's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy. It's in schools and the school said it's no big deal. You're just going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to build immunity. You understand they put others at risk. You know what I mean? When they go to school, they put others at risk. Because now my wife's mother's in the hospital with twice. They release her early. I think too early last time. And supposed to be getting home today. They're making room for them in the hospital because the hospitals are like overloaded right now. No room for them. And I think they're sending people home too early to make room for others. Makes sense. I mean, you know, they got to get them out of there. We need more, you know, they get more people. It's like a revolving door. They can't keep up. No wonder these hospitals are blaming everything on anxiety and COVID anxiety. That's a new one for me. Blaming people coming in and say it's COVID anxiety. What the hell is COVID anxiety? Just something they're telling people to get the tell them get the hell out of there or trying to get them out of there. You know what I mean? Blame everything on anxiety. Guy that came in there with a heart attack and they said it was ang it was an anxiety attack. I'm like, come on, man. These people are crazy. Anxiety attack. It was a damn heart attack. And they said it was an anxiety attack. I'm thinking, what the hell? Crazy, man. It is crazy out there, I'm telling you. Yeah, the hostels are still overwhelmed. Even though they said that the COVID numbers are going down. So that's good they're going down, though. So, I'm glad. And the vaccine will not stop you from getting COVID. <laughs> it prevents you from getting getting in the hospital, basically, is what they're saying. It builds immunity. It teaches your body to build immunity in your body. To fight off the virus. Not to stop it completely from you getting it. <laughs> Some lady told me that antibody infusion. She goes, oh, that prevents you from getting COVID, period. I'm like, no, it doesn't. And I sent her a video how, to, how it works, and she didn't want to watch it. It's weird how I send people on Messenger and on regular messaging on my phone and emails. And they don't even read it. They're like, well, let me know what it says. I said, no, I sent it to you. You read it and watch the video. Well, tell me, tell me. Lazy, man. Lazy. Don't want to click nothing to read it. That is crazy. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep. One of those days. But I'm going to go in here and get me something to eat. Drink me about a little quarter cup, half cup of coffee and eat me a banana and some oranges and, you know. I, wonder I, want to sleep. I really wanted to sleep in. My kids, they just woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. <laughs> It's Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. Yeah, I wanted to sleep in, but kids got up at 6 o'clock, I think. think. I guess they think it's school time. Got to get up early. Well, they don't want to get up during the week. During the weekend, they get up early. No questions asked. They just get up on their own. I'm like, really? Getting up at 6.30? Yep. Mm -hmm. I want to sleep in. But yeah, you guys have a lovely uh, weekend. Kind of cool out here. I'm telling you, it's like 52 degrees, 51 degrees. It's kind of nippy out here this morning. It's Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. Yep. Do me a favor, hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I'm 70% better, guys, in this COVID. I'm not 100%. I still, still deal with migraines and throbbing headaches and... A little bit of dizziness, but that might be the medicine I'm on. The blood pressure, the medicine, the beta blocker. Every medicine they give me it says, it's got a white, a yellow label on it. says dizziness, dizziness, dizziness. And people want me to drive them everywhere. I said, nope, not when I'm, not when I'm real dizzy. I'm sorry. You know, it says they're not operating any machinery and there's dizziness. So, yeah, every medicine they give me, it's always called, there's black box warnings on it or dizziness and dizziness and dizziness and whew, crazy 
But yeah. Thanks for watching, okay? Hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'm about 392 subscribers. Yay, yeah, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, I'm getting over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate everybody subscribing, though, very much. I really do appreciate it very much, okay? Thank you for watching. Comment down below. Let me know how you guys doing, where you're, uh, where you're from, and I will respond back. Thank you so much.